The main application of differentials that we'll consider is in error estimation. So for our purposes, the equation we're going to want is not this equation down here, but this equation up here. And with this video, let me bring my notation in line with my written notes and use D's instead of deltas. So I already mentioned the word error, the differential helps us answer the following question. Suppose you have a relationship between X and Y, where X is some quantity that you can physically measure. And you measure X and then use that value to calculate why? Well, anytime you measure anything, there's going to be some amount of measurement error. Like if you're measuring a distance, you're probably not going to be accurate to one ten billionth of an inch. Like if you're using a ruler, maybe you'll be accurate to an eighth of an inch. And that raises the question, you measured X. When you measured X, there was some error. You used that value of X to calculate Y. How badly will the error in X? reflect in the calculated value of y. Well, in terms of what we have here, x sub zero is your measurement, dx is your measurement error, and dy is the resulting error in y. To give a concrete example. Suppose you want to know the area of a circle. Distances are a lot easier to measure than areas. So if you want to know the area of a circle, what you should almost certainly do is measure the radius of the circle and then use that to compute the area. Suppose that you measure a radius of 20 inches. However, you have measuring error of an eighth of an inch. We can use this 20 to find the area. But since this radius is wrong, this area we calculated is also going to be wrong. And the question becomes, how wrong is it going to be? This is where the differential is going to step in. 
we should take the derivative of this equation and our measurement was 20. So we should take the derivative of A and stick 20 in there. Well, the derivative of A is 2 pi r. We stick 20 in there. Forty pi. And the differential equation with R's and A's instead of X's and Y's is DA equals F prime of R zero. DR, we A prime of R zero DR, we calculated that DA equals forty pi times our measurement error of one eighth of an inch, which gives us an approximate error of 15.71 square inches. So if our radius isn't off by more than an eighth of an inch, this area shouldn't be off by more than this. We sometimes turn our error into a percentage. So 15.71 divided by 1,256.63 times 100% gives an error of 1.25%. And the point of using a percentage is to keep these numbers in perspective. Like, is 15.71 inches squared a big number or not? That doesn't have an objective yes or no answer. There are situations it would seem big. There are situations it would seem small. Once you look at it explicitly in terms of a percentage, so you can say, well, it's 1.25%.